you've ever been ghosted by a date or I don't know, a friend, this next seg segment might help provide some closure. How about that? Researchers in the U.S. conducted a survey of more than 1,500 students and found that two thirds had either ended a relationship with someone with no explanation or had somebody do that to them. The most shocking finding, people who have been ghosted are more, more likely to ghost someone else. For more, we are joined by Dan Riskin. Good morning to you, Dan. Good morning. Thank you for not ghosting me. I know. I thought for a second you weren't there. Uh, what kind of <laughs> I really did. What kind of psychological effect does ghosting have on the person experiencing it? Yeah, ghosting is is a, it's a, this phenomenon that's on the rise, or it's certainly risen, uh, and uh, it's really hard on people. And in this latest study, um, they had people fill out all these these uh, more than a thousand people filled out this uh, survey about how much they need closure. It's, it's this need for closure scale. It's a standardized scale. And as expected, people that need closure really don't do well with being ghosted. It doesn't give them closure. It gives it leaves all these unanswered questions about why it is that the relationship ended. And so it's especially hard for those people. What I find really interesting, though, is that they need closure, but then research found that people who need closure are most and more likely to ghost somebody else. So why is that happening? Yeah, and so that's what the researchers were shocked by. So they expected that if you're a person that needs closure, you don't like being ghosted, but you also won't ghost other people because there's no closure there, right. right? It's like you never have that final conversation to settle out what the problems were. You just cut off communication. Um, but what they found from their data was it, the people that need closure the most are the people who are most likely to ghost. And so there are a lot of different interpretations of why that might be. They were surprised by it. They think that it has to do with uh, perhaps just having a sense of control over the situation. So closure is one way to feel like agency about what's going on. And when you're the ghoster, mm -hmm. you've got total control over, over how that relationship ended. And maybe that sort of feeds what, uh, you know, the, the psychological needs that drive that need for closure. But it was a surprise for them. And yeah. it's part of this ecosystem of relationships that's really changed in the last little while. Did it try to uncover what motivates somebody to ghost a person? Yeah, they went into that. So so there are a few different things that sort of cause a person to ghost. And uh, one is that uh, maybe the the uh, seriousness of the relationship or the casualness has changed. Maybe it's suddenly become very, very intense. Or maybe it's just sort of you drifted apart and you think it's not a big deal to ghost that person. Um, there's also sometimes, you know, the, the dark side of it is sometimes the person doesn't feel safe. And so they cut off communications for that reason. Um, but there are a lot of different reasons. And sometimes it's just a, a a weird guilt like you feel guilty yeah. about something that happened and so you cut off communication because you just don't want to deal with it how has technology changed the way people date well, that's where ghosting, I think, really comes from, is that now, because so many communications are digital, it's very easy to just not respond to a text. And in the yeah. past, you sort of saw people face to face. So you might give them the silence treatment, but that's a very different experience from getting ghosted. Um, but yeah, as you said in the opening of this, two thirds of people have been ghosted. And it's not just romantic relationships. What they found in this study is that more than half of those ghosting experiences happened in relationships that weren't romantic. And so this is part of, you know, the how you get along with your friends and what happens with social relationships. And in fact, I was just talking to someone who's very close to me yesterday about what we're going to talk about. And they yeah. told me that they were ghosted by a close friend of them. Really? So it's, it's something that's quite widespread and, uh, and happens to a lot of people. And it's just something that psychologists need to be paying attention to. Yeah, I haven't done it in a relationship, but I ghost all the time at social events and situations. Oh, do you not do that? Or do you say goodbye to people? So you... Well, I mean, it's one thing to like not say goodbye before you take off from something, but like, yeah. do you have people who you like, you're in, like, you're texting with them, and then all of a sudden you're like, nah, I'm done. I'm not even going to respond to them. Like, that's no, that's really like the clip. Yeah, that's that's what the we're ghosting. Talking about. That's very different yeah. from, yeah, like ghosting a party I'm at. I just like, I'm going to get a yeah. drink, um, and then yeah. I see them. In no, a I do that weeks. all the time. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sure, sure. But, but <laughs> the cut off of the relationship, it's that's, really that's what we're talking yeah, about that's here. Really yeah, different. Hey, Dan, uh, good to talk to you. Thanks. Okay. I hope to talk to you next time if I don't get ghosted. Yeah, exactly. All right. Take care. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.